Wow, wow, wow. What a start to the playoffs, man. What's up, everybody? Man, it's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another video, man. Woo-hoo! <laughs> what a game. And tonight, man, I'm going to talk about tonight's AFC wildcard matchup. You had the Houston Texans beating the Buffalo Bills 22-19 in overtime, man, to advance to the divisional round of the playoffs, man. What a game, yo. Um, but before I get into this video, man, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on Instagram or send me a friend request on Facebook, I'm going to have my Instagram and my Facebook information down in the description box. Um, come give me a follow on the gram. Come send me a request on the book. Um, come holla at your boy, yo. <laughs> wow, man. Big game Deshaun Watson, man. I tip my head to that young man, bro. Um, I always been a fan of his, man. Um. You know, ever since he was at Clemson, you know, um, those two great championship game performances he had against Alabama. Um, the 2017 game when he, you know, the team was down, I think, 10 in the fourth quarter, and he brought him back and got the W, throwing the game winner with one second left. And, uh, you know, he had all the fourth quarter comebacks this season. And today, man, with the team down 16 nothing in the third quarter, um, nothing going right, no running game. Um, Hopkins actually was getting covered pretty solidly. And he put the team on his back, man, and he goes down, get a rush, a touchdown, converts the two-point conversion, throws another touchdown to high. And then in overtime, man, a play when Buffalo sunk a perfectly – a perfect blitz call and two guys hit him at the same time and he bounces off of them and throws it to the running back man and get down inside the 10 and the field goal kicker ended up kicking the field goal to put the thing away man big time performance by big game Deshaun Watson man um you know, I'm sure he he got a lot of if if he ain't had a bunch of fans already man. You know, he won some people over with this performance in that second half today man. Um, another guy, man, J.J. Watt, man, Woody, that's another guy I'm a huge fan of, man. Um, not only the way he plays, man, but of course, you know, uh, me being a Louisiana native, I have a bunch of family members that's located in Houston, and I know how hard things was for the, you know, for my family, you know, with the Hurricane Harvey, um, situation, and to see that, you know, him having a season-ending injury, and him using that as time, man, to just really, well, he was working on that before the injury, like, like, let me not mention, let me not forget to mention that, he was, he raised a whole bunch of money before his injury, but once he got his injury he was able to be even more hands-on with um with with relief in the houston area man so um he's a he's just a tremendous guy man and for him to come back from this injury basically saying look worst case scenario man i'll re-aggravate my injury and i'll have surgery and be out three months that's that's worth having the chance to go out there and be out there with my teammates in a playoff game and giving us helping us get a chance to win and sure enough man for me when they was down 13 nothing and Buffalo was going down to try to make it 20 to nothing, you know, the sack he had on Josh Allen, to me, turned the whole game around because it got the crowd involved. It got his teammates involved. Like they say, hey, man, this guy out here ain't even healthy. And if he going to make a play out there, man, we all need to be out here making plays, man. So shout out to a guy like J.J. White, man. It's good to see him get a playoff win today, you know, with um just with everything that he's dealt with as far as his injury and everything and the type of guy he is, man. Um, D-Hop, man, shut out the first half, man. Second half. Came up with some crucial catches, man. Um, Whitley, Whitney Merciless came up with a big strip sack on Josh Allen. Um, Carlos Hyde, after dropping an easy touchdown pitch to play before, shout out to um to the Houston coaching staff calling his number the very next play, and he catches it and gets in the end zone. Um, just a lot of resiliency shown by the Texans today, man. Honestly, I did my live at halftime, man. I thought they was done. Um, Buffalo looked like the far more physical football team. They looked like the better coach team. They looked like the hungrier team. And lo and behold, it took that J.J. White sack, man, to wake those guys up man big big time win for the houston texans man very impressive comeback and just a absolute great back and forth ending to this game 
Um, and for the Buffalo Bills, man, this one gonna hurt, man. Um, cause they completely dominated this game basically for two and a half quarters, man, and they let it get away. Um, you know the run Josh Allen had toward the end of the, uh, was it in over? I think it was in overtime when Delima got called for the illegal blindside block. Um, they pretty much had a shot to kick a long field goal if it wasn't for that flag. Um. It's tough for them, man. It's just a tough loss. Very first off, tip my head to them. Very, very good season by the Buffalo Bills, man. Extremely good season, man. Um, to win, to win ten games for the first time in a while. Um, you know, you got a young core. He got to make some better decisions at times. But to say this was his first playoff game and he was on the road, I felt like for the most part, man, he handled himself pretty well. Um, they got a nice little young stud running back in Singletary. Some solid receivers, solid tight ends, a really, really good defense. I feel like Sean McDermott is a very, very good head coach. So it, it's going to hurt for Buffalo really, really bad tonight because they had this thing won and put away. But, I mean, it's a lesson learned for them, man. You just got to take it with a grain of salt um, and just keep pushing for the future, man. But it's going to hurt them all off season, man, because they, they definitely had this game won, man. Um, they, was the best, they was the more talented team, but... You know, Houston, the, the, the few talented players they had are superstars. And, um, JJ Watt is a superstar. Deshaun Watson is a superstar. DeAndre Hopkins is a superstar. You know, and those superstars, man, when, when the money was on the line in that second half, they stepped up and they took, they got the victory, man. Um, big ups to the Houston Texans, man, moving on in the playoffs. Tip my hat to the Buffalo Bills on a hard fought effort today and a very, very good season, yo. Um, but with that being said, man, that's all I got for y'all tonight. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Go on, hit the like button for your boy and give me a subscribe, man. I'm going to have Philadelphia Eagles and NFL content throughout the year. Also, it is coming Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central, 3 p.m. Pacific. I'm going to do a live Q&A. Y'all can come on there, ask me anything, tell me anything. I'll answer your questions. Respond to your comments and give you a shout out on the live, yo. Y'all should come join me. Some good stuff. I'll tell it in, man. Y'all have a blessed one. Fly, Eagles, fly.